Welcome to Sukha Yoga. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. So we might be on some blankets or a bolster, perhaps even seated in a chair. Neutral spine. So let's push down through the sit bones to get nice and tall. Shoulders gently back and relaxed. Again, pushing down through the sit bones to get nice and tall. Shoulders gently back and relaxed. Now let's begin by drawing the breath down into the belly. When we breathe in, the belly expands and pooches out. We draw the breath down into the belly, we fill up the belly and then the chest. Nice, smooth, even exhale with a gentle smile. Continue this belly breathing. fullness of the breath, but no tension or strain. So we are, it's a pranayama, and we are breathing 80%, 90% effort, 100% effort, but there's no tension or strain. Through the nostrils, let's recall our attention to our posture, just checking in. The awareness is like a flashlight. We're shining the flashlight of our awareness back on our posture. Pushing down through the sit bones to get nice and tall, shoulders gently back and relaxed. Now, this is called Sukha Yoga, this routine. Sukha, Stiram Sukham Asana. It's recommended that asanas be steady and sweet. Sukham, Sukha highlights or emphasizes the sweetness. So I'd like for us to do that in our asanas by basically striking the balance between effort and ease. We do this in each asana, but let's begin with this asana right here. There's effort in our posture and our breath, but it is balanced by an ever-present ease. This is the balance we're looking for. Continue breathing down into the belly and then the chest. Nice, smooth, even exhale with a gentle smile. familiar with the Ujjayi breath. Slight constriction at the base of the throat to give a little tone and texture to the breath. We might apply the Ujjayi breath at any time during our practice, save the Shavasana at the end. Let's begin with our practice by taking a nice deep breath in. We're going to begin with body circles. So on the exhale, we're going to bring our torso toward the floor in front of us. We might wish to remove one of the blankets or the bolster. And then we're going to begin going to the right side, inhaling to the right and to the back, exhaling to the left side and forward. We're going to do four nice big giant body circles, warming up the spine. Inhaling back and exhaling forward. And with the torso toward the floor in the center, but pause a moment and then reverse that direction. Four, on the other direction. Breathing into the left side and to the back. Exhaling to the right and forward. Continue. 
should feel sweet, should feel good. Body likes to be stretched. So just be gentle with yourself. Every day is different, every body, every day is different. At the end of the fourth, pause a moment, come back, breathe up to center. Get nice and tall, we're gonna go into a little stretch to the right side, exhaling to the right, very gently. Again, back to center, inhaling nice and tall, and then exhaling to the left side. Gentle twist, this is very gentle, warm, nice little warm up. So we're gonna go into tabletop position, so we move any more additional blankets. We're gonna position the wrists below the shoulders, the knees below the hips. And we're going to do some body circles for the joints. So let's bring our weight a little bit forward over the wrists. Feel that little stretch for the wrists. And then we're gonna exhale, bring the knees a couple inches apart. We're gonna exhale down into the hips, down into the shoulders. Bhaktasana devotion pose. So just feel a nice little stretch. If there's some gratitude arises in your heart or express that. And then we're gonna inhale up on the left side. We're gonna roll over the wrists and exhale down on the right. We're doing body circles here. So really roll over those wrists on the inhale and Exhale, really get sink down into those hips and those shoulders. We're going to do four on each direction. So after four, pause down in your hips and come up on the right side. Roll over the wrists, down on the left. Good for the shoulders, the elbows, the knees, and the hips. We're going to do four of these in this direction and the sacroiliac joint as well. At the end of four, Pause a moment, come back up, position tabletop again, wrist below the shoulders, and we're gonna go into cat-cow. So on the inhale, drop the belly, you can curl the toes under and look up. Exhale, tops of the feet arch straight up. Four of these. And on the fourth one, we're gonna push down into downward dog. First downward dog of the day, we can walk it out by bending alternate knees. A couple things we're going to look for here. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Index fingers can be pointed toward the top of the yoga mat. So the shoulders are out of the ears, back in their sockets, and moving toward the thighs. Hips gently moving up, heels gently moving down. But this is important here, no tension, no tension in the neck. So you can shake out or, or not any tension out of the neck. And again, looking for that elusive poise between effort and ease. We will return to this. Let's take the right foot forward between the hands. We're gonna do a low lunge, so drop the left knee, top of the left foot down. Breathe into the belly here. Just find your stretch, breathe. So to help us find that balance between effort and ease, when I say relaxing the eyes and forehead, that's the cue. We're gonna go into a little up, a cobra, and then we're pushing back down. Oh, that was a little vinyasa. Now we're pushing back down into downward dog. So relaxing, the eyes and forehead helps us, reminds us that there is a balance between effort and ease. Let's take the left foot forward between the hands. Drop the right knee, top of the right foot down. Sink down into your hips, find wherever the stretch is, look for that balance between effort and ease, relax the eyes and forehead. Breathing into the belly. do is we're going to step up in a moment into a forward fold. And then we're going to just gently roll up 
into a standing mountain pose, Tadasana. Here we are in our standing mountain pose. This is a, a legitimate asana here. Let's begin with our feet. Parallel-ish. Weight distributed evenly between the pads of the feet and the heels. Somewhere around the middle of the arch. If the arch is touching the floor. Tailbone can be slightly tucked. Taking a little load off the lumbar curve. Engaging the core. Just gently. Shoulders gently back and relaxed. Standing up nice and tall like a strings attached to the top of our head gently tugging us up. This might bring the chin slightly down. Evening out the breath. Let's bring our hands to heart center, but we're going to remain in this pose, relaxing the eyes and forehead. Evening out the breath. Once again, let's scan our posture. Weight on the feet, tailbone gently tucked, shoulder blades gently back and relaxed, standing up nice and tall, evening out the breath. All right, let's begin by taking a nice deep breath in, raising the arms up. Slight stretch back, exhale forward fold. We're going to begin with the right foot back. Step back with the right foot, high lunge this time, balance pose, exhaling down. Plank pose, chaturanga, inhale up dog, which is like cobra but the legs are off the floor. Exhale down dog. Right foot forward, right foot leads on the first round, high lunge again, it's balance pose, eyes open. Exhale forward fold, rolling the body up, all the way up, inhaling up, slight stretch back, exhale, heart center. We're going to repeat that on with the left side leading. Slight stretch back, inhale, slight stretch back, exhale, forward fold. Left foot back, left foot leading, high lunge, eyes open, balance pose. Where's the weight on the feet? Exhale, plank, slowly down to chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Left foot is leading. So let's bring that left foot up, high lunge again, connect through your feet, S stitch those ribs together, the abs, exhale forward fold, slowly rolling up, all the way up, and start center. Okay, there's one round, we'll do one more complete cycle of two, inhale slight stretch back, exhale forward fold, right foot leads on the first round, right foot back, strong high lunge. Stitch the abs together. Exhale, plank all the way down, knees, chest, chin if you need to, and then up dog, legs are off the floor. Exhale, down dog. Look for the complete realization of these asanas in that moment. Right foot forward, high lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly rolling up, all the way up. Slight stretch back. Exhale, hands, heart center. One last time with the left foot leading. Inhale up, slight stretch back. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot back, strong high lunge. Connect through the feet, ground down. Stitch the abs together. Exhale down into plank. Chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Opening, exhale, down dog. Look for the complete realization for that brief moment that you're there. Left foot forward. Last strong high lunge, slight stretch back. Exhale forward fold, rolling up on the inhale. Where's the weight on the feet as you're coming up? And then exhale, hands to heart center, and let's leave the hands at heart center for a moment as we just observe the sensations in the body, the rate of the heartbeat, the rate of the breath. Let's just observe.
as the heartbeat and breath return to a resting rate, rest steady rate. You can release our arms to the side and again be with our Tadasana here. Again, just scan the body from the feet up. Incorporate that steadiness of the breath as the breath returns to normal. We can once again just measure it out. The ujjayi comes gently back into place and we return where we began, albeit perhaps a little sweatier. We can do as many rounds as we like of those. But for this practice here today, we're just doing the two. So we're going to transition into the last part of the routine, some floor asanas. So let's transition forward, fold, bend the knees into a seated pose. Let's take the right leg forward, bend the left knee. We're going to do Janu Shashasana. Now it might help to position a blanket below the hips or a bolster or perhaps a chair. Push down through the sit bones to get nice and tall. Exhaling, continuing to push through the sit bones, hinge, and then we can soften the shoulders and the neck, but we're continuing to push through the sit bones. Now look for that balance between effort and ease. And breathe in the belly, relax the eyes and forehead. Gentle smile. Continue to push down through the sit bones to get nice and tall as you come back up. Switch the legs, left leg forward, pushing down the sit bones to get nice and tall. Exhale, hinge, continuing to push through the sit bones. Then we can soften the shoulders and the neck. Continuing to push through the sit bone, breathe into the belly. Relax the eyes and forehead and breathe. Gentle smile. Now we're gonna come up from that. We're gonna push, continue to push through the sit bones to get nice and tall. We're gonna bring both legs forward, Paschimottanasana, classic Indian asana. Again, push, stretching up nice, tall, exhaling, continuing to push through the sit bones, then softening the shoulders and the neck. Again, just looking for that balance between effort and ease. The elusive balance. If you have a strap that might assist in looking for that sweetness, that sukha, bring in a couple blankets or bolster into this asana can certainly help. Breathe in the belly. Relax the eyes and forehead and breathe. All right, let's push down through the sit bones. Get nice and tall, the counter stretch. Hands behind the body, six to eight inches. Fingers pointed toward the feet. We're gonna push up into a reverse plank. We don't have to hold the counter stretch as long as we do the principal stretch because all the muscle groups, the major muscle groups on the look on the posterior side of the body. We're going to come all the way down to the ground. So let's bend the right knee. Interlace the fingers a couple inches below the right knee. Give it a little hug. And then let's take that right knee over to the left side. We're going to do a little gentle twist here so we can use the left hand on the right knee to help it over let's breathe into the belly relax
relax the eyes and forehead. Gentle smile. Eyes can be closed. Twists are very inward turning. Breathe in the belly. Relax. Let's bring the right knee up. Straighten the right leg. Bend the left knee. Give it a little hug. Breathe into the belly when you're bringing, breathing, bringing that knee up. And then that left knee goes over to the right side with the right hand. Our eyes can again be closed but we can have an imaginary soft gaze somewhere over the left side. Left arm extends from the left shoulder. Breathe in the belly. Gentle smile. Relaxes the muscles of the face. Let's bring the left knee up. Let's give both knees a little hug. <coughs> we can position our blanket actually because we're going to go into plow. Give both knees a little hug. Breathing in. The neck can come down, but the feet are coming up. Now we position the blankets above our head to help us in our plow pose that we're going to be moving into. We're exhaling the feet slowly down and inhaling them up. So look for a nice, good extension when the feet are toward the floor. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. You can gently raise the hands off the floor to just see how much, how involved they are. And then we're going to bend our knees after the, however many you can, would choose to do. Bend the knees, bring a little bit of momentum to the body. We're going to walk our shoulder blades together. Interlace the fingers, bring the hands down to the floor if you can, or just bring the elbows close together. We're going to bring the legs over the body. Inversions are not recommended if you have any neck injuries or if you're menstruating. So let's bring the legs over the body into plow pose. The chest is toward the chin. Evening out the breath. If you'd like to place some more blankets or bolsters or blocks beneath your feet, to help find the sukha. Come out of this very, very gently. Always keeping the nose pointed toward the sternum. Relaxing the eyes and forehead and breathing. Now come into a shoulder stand. Hands on the lower back in the kidney region. Pushing upward to a shoulder stand. We can readjust our hands. Now again, we're looking for that balance between effort and ease. Relax the eyes and forehead, even out the breath. It is said that the skin of the legs is moving up toward the ceiling, or the sky. But we're balancing all this effort with a relaxation. Bend the knees, roll the knees, back down the chest, gently rolling down. We're going to do the counter stretch, which is Matsyasana, fish pose. If you can do the complete lotus, we can do that. Otherwise, our legs are going to be straight and on the floor. We're going to walk the arms underneath the body, push down through the elbows to raise the chest. We're going to gently bring the head down toward the crown, but no weight on the head. Relax the thighs and breathe a few moments here.
then to, to lift out of this, we're going to re-engage the thighs to safely lift the head. Re-engage the thighs. Bring the legs down. Remove the arms from beneath the body. We're going to rest in Shavasana. So the palms are up. Make a few adjustments if you'd like to aid in your comfort. And now we're going to do two things. We're going to rest the body. And as we relax more and more, we're going to observe the sensations in the body. Those are the two things. As we relax the body more and more, we're going to observe the sensations in the body. Observe the sensations in the body. No effort on the breath. The belly rises and falls all on its own. arise, allow them to pass, turn to the body, be with the body. is going to come up onto the floor above our head. Let's take a nice deep breath in. On the exhale, we'll roll over onto the right side. The right arm becomes a pillow. Continue resting here for a moment. Onto the floor in front of our chest. We're going to push through the palm. We might bring a blanket, drag a blanket or two closer to us. Push down into a comfortable seated position. Let's take a moment and arrange a nice little seat for ourselves as we did at the beginning of 
the routine, helping to achieve a neutral spine, a little bit, something a little closer to the sukha, a little bit closer to the sweetness. So we might be sitting on a couple of blankets or bolster. We might even roll up a couple of blankets and place them beneath each knee. Again, pushing down through the sit bones to get nice and tall. Shoulders gently back and relaxed. Gentle effort here, perhaps 50%. Not as much effort as we had at the beginning of class. But perhaps we're able to accomplish more with less energy. Now again, we're pushing down through the sit bones to get nice and tall, shoulders gently back and relaxed. The chin can be slightly tucked. Eyes and forehead relaxed, gentle smile. We're again drawing the breath down into the belly. But again, not with that much effort, perhaps 50% effort. Drawing the breath down into the belly, filling up the belly and then the chest. Nice, smooth, even exhale with a gentle smile. Continue. 50% effort on both posture and breath. Looking to strike that elusive balance between effort and ease. There is effort, principally in our awareness, but there is an ease throughout. Continue drawing the breath, guiding the breath down into the belly and the chest breathing through the nostrils. Perhaps we can let go a little bit of the effort. Perhaps we can bring it down to 40%. through the nostrils. Relax the eyes and forehead. same 20% effort to the exhale, stretching it out, breathing it nice, even, lengthening it.
in. Perhaps we can let go of the effort altogether. Just observe. Allow the breath to be whatever the breath would like to be. Perhaps it remains soft and shallow. Perhaps it's long and deep. Or perhaps it stops altogether. Be with the breath. Be there with the breath to observe it. we can once again apply a little effort to the breath, drawing the breath into the belly, gentle effort, 10 or 20 percent. It's like a hand on a rail, helps steady us, helps focus the mind. 10 or 20 percent effort, drawing the breath into the belly. As you wish, just you can follow the body. If you'd like to remain sitting for a while longer, please do so. If you'd like once again to just explore letting go of the effort, allowing the breath to be whatever the breath would like to be, please do so. Gently follow the movements of the body and feel that feel complete. You may gently open your eyes. This is your time to follow your body. If you'd like to remain sitting, please do so. If you'd like to make gentle movements, please do so. Take your time. practicing today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Continue to be with the breath. Namaste.